Hey Breezers, how are you guys? We have two new Foodie Beauty community posts. I am a little late to the party here, but I wanted to make sure we had a bunch of comments to read. So this first one we're going to read is from five hours ago. And it says, hi, I found a gummy last night and couldn't help myself. I went three months without any marijuana, but before Kuwait, I was a heavy THC user. And while I was away, I didn't think about it at all. I was actually happy to be away from my bad habits. I actually really believed that I would not be tempted. I apologize for behaving this way. Foodie, you ran from your problems before, right? You ran from your addictions. You didn't really work on any of your issues. You didn't really ask for help. You didn't go to therapy. You didn't confront your addictions head on. You just kind of ran away and hoped that they would go away. So I don't know what you expected when you came back to Canada. I know you kept saying, oh, I'm not going to be like I was before. From what we've seen, you're exactly, exactly like how you were before. And no, I don't believe you just found a gummy. Um, we saw you driving around. I believe you drove to the dispensary unless your car just drove you there. You know, that's kind of weird, but I don't believe you found it. Um. If you're going to do these things that you're, if you're going to continue the lifestyle that you're doing and the way you're behaving and using THC, like, don't lie about it. Like, we all saw you were high. You were trying to lie about it. Like, I think you forget a lot of us are in recovery and can see this BS from a mile away. We can see it. And if you truly don't want to change yet, which I don't think you do. Why do you keep offending a whole religion? Like, doing what you're doing in the hijab, is, is it, it's offensive. I think you have a lot of stuff you need to work on, foodie, and things are going to get much worse before they even start to get better if you don't change your life around now. Um, let's go ahead and read some of these comments. Oh, wait, I wanted to point out, too, I actually really believed that I would not be tempted you're going to be tempted as long as you continue to not even work on yourself. You will be tempted whenever you see it, hear about it, whenever you're around it, because you're not doing the work. And I know you say you apologize for behaving this way, but your apologies don't mean anything. Like, you, you just say words that have no meaning. Because we all know you'll be doing an edible again. We all know... You'll be back to behaving the way you're be you were behaving. Like, I truly hope for you one day, foodie. Like, I hope you get to a point where you love yourself so much that you don't need all these bad habits. That you love yourself enough to get sober. I truly wish that for you. All right, let's get to these comments, you guys. So just another halal doll is the first comment up and reads, Sister, seeking forgiveness from Allah. With repentance is a virtue. Human beings are not perfect. Allah is merciful and forgiving. Um, thus, Sara said, What if THC itself isn't the bad habit? But rather the bad habit is your obsessive and compulsive inability to do things within moderation and consistent failure to follow through on promises to do better for yourself. It's grueling work realigning a toxic psychological reward system. But well worth it. It's good to see you owning up to it and reaffirming your commitment to show up for yourself. Tracy said, Chantal, you shouldn't have told anyone. Tracy, she didn't have to. Like, we all knew. We all knew. She didn't, she honestly didn't have to say anything. It was so obvious <laughs> that she had taken something. It was beyond obvious. All right, Anna said, not trying to be rude, but one thinks that a man is going to save us from everything and love does a lot of stuff. But when you're addicted to anything, you're the one that needs to fix the problem. Even if you're all day together or far away, you already did it. Don't beat yourself up. What's done is done. You communicate that with your husband and if he understands, good. And if he doesn't understand, then you two have to come to an agreement and an understanding about each other's habits or your habits. Um, Morgane said, 
Hope you gave the cats lots of affection while stoned. They deserve it. Uh, for the love of Slipknot said, Y'all know this woman can't stop lying. <laughs> Facts. She's lied her whole life. You'd think she would have mastered the art of being a compulsive liar by now at least. Her problem is one, she can't keep her mouth shut. Two, she can't remember what lies she's told. Three, she came live high AF, blaming it on being tired. She forgets we've all seen her high for a year or so before this Kuwait arc took place, lol. I think she forgets. We we know we know her lies, we know we know what she says and does when she's lying. We know how she behaves when she's under the influence. We know. Like, she, she doesn't need to lie. We just, we know. We know. So Freya said, Miriam, come on now. Don't lose yourself again. No need to apologize to me. I'm a Scandinavian pagan, but uh, Muslims are way strict about these things. Please stop giving the reaction channels both weapons and ammunition to aim at you. They'll feed off this slip up for years to come. Definitely not feeding off of it. Um, I made a video actually about her slip up last night. And like, I'm not making fun of it. I, I'm actually concerned about her, Freya. I'm just going to be honest. I'm concerned. I knew when she went back to Canada, she would be back to her old ways. I knew this. But I'm not just assuming it's just THC. I'm going to be very honest about that. I'm not just assuming that. And I'm concerned because this is where how people in addiction don't wake up the next day, like because they go back to using, thinking that they can use whatever it is they're using the same as before. No, when you have a period of time clean or sober or clean and sober, you can't go back to doing things how you once did. You just can't. It's dangerous. Um, I hope it's a wake up call for her. I hope this is a wake up call and. I mean, I'm not getting my hopes up, but I hope, I hope something changes for her. I really do. I mean, she's done a lot of bad things. She's said a lot of bad things, but like addiction is no joke. And I don't want to see anybody put themselves in harm's way or anybody suffering, you know? Um, Yennefer Lynn said, you like life in Kuwait because weed and alcohol are illegal there. And you have a man telling you exactly what to do. It's the easy way out. And I don't believe that it's what you truly need. You need to face your demons and put in the work to change your life in Canada. It's not supposed to be easy. There you go. Um, Siri said, and the VIBs thought it was just mineral tea. Mineral tea. Um, Lightning Bug said, so if Nads calls, are you going to be able to help yourself? Hmm. Uh, Mama Ray said, I had no idea that you were even high. Oh, Mama Ray, to be as innocent as you, because it was obvious AF. Um, Amber's paper thin lips said, the lies on top of lies are weird and make no sense. If you're going to be honest about being high last night, why work in a lie and say you found a gummy? When we know you've been high every night, it's weird. You're so conditioned to lie. It isn't being honest and admitting to anything when you literally cover a half truth a half truth up with multiple lies. And are we honestly supposed to believe she found the gummy? She was out and about driving. We know she went to the outhouse. We know she went several different places. No, she picked it up. She did not find it. In my in my humble opinion. Um she killed Kenny said Yo, now deleting the live won't make it go away. Or I supposed to say, you know deleting the live won't make it go away. Oh, yeah, you guys. So apparently she deleted that stream. You haven't, cha you haven't changed at all. If you truly wanted to change yourself, you would have either thrown it out or could have asked Pete's to help you get rid of it. If nothing changes, nothing changes. All right, let's see. Um, Amanda said, and there it is. Lying only hurts you, especially when your face gives it away. Live truth. You'll feel freer if you just admit when you goofed, and folks will respect you more for it. Um, let's see. Uh, Callie Ray said, me, who isn't a heavy user and only smokes comes every, oh, and only smokes cones every second weekend. Really, one gummy got you that stoned? Sounds like bull to me. 
Do what you want. Recreational weed is legal in your country. It's not legal here in Australia. But you're lying when you say it was just one gummy. We all know she's lying. So Big Turk said, you should have been honest or ignored accusations instead of making up a lie about a nighttime mineral drink. This is why no one ever believes a word out of your mouth. Recall this when you ask, name one time I've lied. Exactly. And what is this mineral drink she's speaking of? Like, let us know, foodie. If it's, if it's not what we think it is, let us know what it is. Because I, too, would like to know what this mineral drink is that makes you very sleepy. Um, Emily K. said, you can't change what you don't acknowledge. You have to be honest. I'm a recovering addict, so I know what it takes. Lying to yourself and others will get you nowhere. Changing takes a lot more than just saying you've changed. It's a lot of work, just my opinion. I really wish the best for you. Um, Exposita said, I've never seen anyone lie so much in my life. Gia said, we love a gaslighter. Um, Nadav said, don't think you need to apologize for that. Just be honest with yourself about it, you know? Um, Be Free said, bad habits are extremely difficult to break. But you are doing more than most do, Chantel. You're actively trying to better yourself and have found God to help you along the way also. Um, if you really believe that, be free, then I'm, I'm happy for you. But I do agree, bad habits are extremely difficult to break. Um, extremely difficult, but so rewarding when you break that bad habit. So rewarding. Okay, last comment, and then we're going to go to the next community post. So MP um, said two hours ago, you're still not being completely honest. We know you didn't just happen to find a gummy, Chantal. The way you compulsively lie is actually extremely concerning. Self-sabotaging big time right now. Okay, so Foodie's next community post is from five hours ago. And it reads, I want to clarify that these changes everyone thinks are for my husband are actually for God and for myself as well. I'm trying to be a better version of myself as all. Well. I didn't mean to disrespect anyone. Let's read these comments. All right. Oops. So, Tubi Ruby said, If you can't stop yourself even when you know you'll be facing the public, then it's far from over. You'll be peaked out till you have to get on the plane to Kuwait again. Just like last time. Um... Fake Jesus said, Chantel, I was talking to my good friend Allah and he said you need to be punished for your disrespect of Islam. Considering you disrespected me as well, I told him that I agree with his punishment plan. Okay. Um, Shrimpy Legs said, you didn't mean to disrespect anyone. You opened your cam knowing you got high and even lied, told people not to disrespect your religion. You disrespected yourself, your husband, your viewers, all of Islam, but most of all, you disrespected the most high. Drugs can cause a great deal of harm, which may be greater than the harm caused by drinking alcohol. The prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, there should be neither harming nor reciprocating harm. Narrated by Ahmad, and um, I don't want to say anybody's name wrong, but there. Okay. The one who consumes a little or a lot of it is to be subjected to this punishment for drinking. 80 or 40 lashes if he is a Muslim who believes that intoxicants are haram. End quote. And then it says that. Be happy you live in Canada. Um, on a dark desert highway said, Man, I missed it. Encore. You cannot live by strict rules, my dude. When will you realize this? Vegan, Muslim, privacy, no contact, staying out of the Gatineau Lachine, it's all the same. Sorry, my phone rang. So Midsnap said one hour ago it is edited. You literally came on live. Hi, Chantal. Your statement is a moot point. As a parent of an adult recovering addict, I've seen and heard all of this before. If you put it out here, expect response or don't put it out here at all. There is no trying. You either do it or don't. The rest are excuses. I actually really like that comment. Um, let's scroll up. Lavi said, Chantal, no one can judge you. 
but people are concerned about you. Stop the fighting online. Take care of yourself. Only you can do it. Everything went way too fast the last three months. Never be afraid to say you made a mistake. People have a reason to behave the way they do. What happened when you were a child? Did you get the support and the love you needed? You always take the past with you, even if you run in another country. The past is always next to you. What really makes you happy? Don't live your life for others. Life is short and hard enough. I love Peony said, then why go live if you know you're blasted? It makes no sense. Peggy said, can't call people liars when you're constantly lying. People don't like liars. Uh, let's see. Oh, just freezing today. Said Sala sitting at home like, what happened? Um, I don't think he's shocked. He probably knew this was going to happen too. Like, <laughs> he just spent three months with her or however long with her. Like, not that he knows her, like, you know, all that well in three months, but he's seen her. He's gotten to know her well enough. He's seen what she's about. I don't think he's shocked. Um, Amber's paper thin lips asked, what changes, Chantal? You started wearing a hijab. That's it. You haven't changed anything. You disguised your true self when you were in Kuwait with Sala. You haven't changed. You're the exact same as before you left, except with a hijab. Um, Lolo said, I know little to nothing about this religion, but it seems like an awfully strict one. You can't just be expected to become an entirely different person overnight, at least in my opinion. Also, just be true to yourself. Um, let's see. Kelly Whatever said, I don't understand why people say they don't mean to disrespect anyone when they know exactly what they're doing will disrespect people. Own your behavior and never be that way again. You're not accountable if you continue to behave like this. I'm new to you and you do seem like a fun person when you're calm and you're sober. There's constant apologies for how you treat others. You're not sincere if you continue to be hateful. Remember, you always have a choice on how you treat people. Sometimes the best thing you can do is completely step away. Chantal, from what I have noticed is you keep saying you're going to do better and be different, but nothing is happening. Love yourself enough to change and live a long and happy life. All right, you guys, I will keep a lookout for any updates. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye, everyone.